welcome back to the Business Spotlight. Today we have a very unique show. I've had three other extremely professionals in here telling you ways, tools, and, and how they have used video to change their world or how media is changing in your world. So if you're a business owner, you need to be uh, chiming in on this one. I promised you this one we'd go a little deeper into the, if you want to call it Google al algorithm. I have Chris, Chris Heaney. Chris is a, uh, I want to say internet expert, but that's just like, it's so hard to explain. It's like if you can think of the internet as this iceberg, most of us humans dance around on the top of the iceberg where we breathe air. And Chris grew gills and he swims a lot deeper in the internet universe. Also, I have Tanya Waring. Tanya, Hi. you work with Chris at Stick in Your Head. Chris, let's get into how has the Google algorithm changed? It's been changing over time. Um, one thing that it's really changing towards is user intent, understanding what a user really is wanting to find. And it's using some deep analytic skills that really dig into what we're looking for. And it's getting smarter and smarter, uh, almost uh, as AI would. Um, so what, what a couple of key components to that is the analytics that it actually derives from your site. Um, as, as well as uh, other components, which uh, your previous guest talked about. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I, now, Tanya, you, you do a lot of business development, and you're a bit of a decoder for what he says. So, <laughs> what's your take on what he just said? Well, I recently joined Chris with a stick in your head because he is so technology driven. One of the things that really stands out to me is that you have to get real in your content, that we've had all of these people trying to figure out the algorithms and how do you do this, and they're actually putting out content that's not real. And so by talking about video content and really getting your message out there, Google is starting to recognize that you need to be real and true in what you're, you're producing for their audience. You know, I completely agree. Chris, one of the things that I'm curious about is how should people create more valuable content and steer away from just a sales pitch? Because even with this, this I, uh, concept came out of how do we create a lot of value, a lot of instruction for business owners? Touching on two points that um, you, you actually brought up previously, uh, one, conversion, and then two, being personal. Uh, people are still people. They're still human beings. They want to connect with you and understand that you're real. A lot of times I compare using stock photos to using real team photos um, on your site. People, when they know it's authentic versus when they find out those were stock photos, there's a level of disappointment. Um, so, so really connecting at a personal level. Um, re regarding your previous question as well, the, uh, Google actually has a patent. It's a search engine using user intent. If you get a chance, look at that patent because it really describes exactly what they're doing. Say that again, search engine using? Search engine using user intent. Okay. That is, there, it has a U.S. patent number. You can look it up on Google. I don't What does that heart. mean for the audience? If somebody's using that or looking at that, what does that mean? It means that SEO, as far as, as we've always known it, is kind of disappearing. Um, meaning no more spinning articles, no more, you know, it is becoming a more organic, by not the overused term organic, but real, real life organic. It's got to really inspire people. People have got to engage. They know what people quote unquote like, and I mean in the Facebook terminology. Um, so the ability to catalog and understand that and give you relevant results to uh, you based on what people, a thousand other people that have liked a thousand of the same things that you have also liked. <laughs> well, the, the thing that'd be a challenge, if I'm a business owner, I'm listening to this, I'm sitting there trying to figure out, but how do I make my business relevant and engaging, especially in the internet universe? Because we've seen things go from the yellow pages to the internet. The, the internet now is what the uh, part of your budget that used to go to hard hard copy. How do right. we how do we create that engagement there? Well, I'd like to speak up about that because uh, Louise had mentioned tell your story. So get very good at telling your story, and that's one of the first things that you really taught me, Pat, when I came on to do video. And I think video marketing a lot of times is intimidating because we don't know what to share with our audience. But by keeping it real, and how Dave Swift talked about um, the conversions. So you can drive all the traffic you want to your website, but you really want to make sure that it converts. And I think people really can sniff out if you're being authentic and real about what you do, or if you're trying to create this 
great image. So just some tips on creating that video content that well, really speaks to your audience. The funny thing is, is that you actually do that better than most anybody I think I've ever met on here. I mean, we, one of the first engagements I had with you was watching you on another production that's out there. And because you have done a lot of video and you have one 10 second spot where you say, my daughter said, I never knew you hurt that much. Right. And I went, oh. yes. I mean, I was choked up and I went, oh my God, that's gorgeous. So, you know, I guess for the business owner, getting real with why he does, is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then getting the engagement on the other side. Is there, are there any quick secrets on getting engagement other than talking to you? It, obviously. It's really, <laughs> I mean, it's no different than offline. It is talking to the pain point that they are concerned about, making sure that you gather the right kind of traffic. It does, you can have a, a million of the wrong hits on your page, making sure that the right traffic is hearing the right message. And when that happens, and, and Google's getting better and better and better at giving that to you. So, and making sure that you're engaging with them and making sure that uh, you are talking to what drives them, talking about the why. Interesting. I, I really encourage you guys to get a hold of stickinyourhead.com. They can always go on the website. Chris and Tanya are brilliant at helping you get your message out. You know, today's show is really a bit different because I wanted to deliver some keys to you as an audience, whether you're watching us on YouTube or anywhere else in the universe or on TV, that you could use to realize that the new SEO is content. And the content with video is so much more powerful. You can get a hold of me at doertv.com or doersuccess.com. It's on the screen. And really, we'll talk to you next time.